Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we talk about relationships, love, and personal growth. Today, we're tackling a question a lot of people ask, why doesn't he see you as wife material? Whether you've been in a long-term relationship or just started dating someone, the question of why hasn't he committed can be confusing and frustrating. So in today's video, we're going to explore some reasons why a man might not see you as wife material or why he's hesitant to take that next step. Keep in mind that these are just some possible reasons and every relationship is different. But before we dive in, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that whenever I post a brand new video, you are alerted. Let's dive in, guys. Two types of women most men want to marry. The woman who doesn't give in that easily. She will not sleep with him on a first date and she sets her standards and boundaries early on. A man recognizes this type of woman from the moment she opens her mouth. She commands, not demands, respect by the way she carries herself. She knows exactly what she wants from a man and from her relationship. Man can try to win her over, impress her, and while she may be impressed, she will not give him her valuable time just to entertain his flattery. She will send signals that she's very capable of loving a man and of taking care of him. The good girl. A man wants to be sure that his woman can be a good wife and mother to his children and he believes that the good girl has these qualities. He feels at peace that he doesn't have to try so hard and that whatever happens she will be by his side. And when he returns after a hard day out there in the harsh world, she makes him feel he has truly come home. Oh, five reasons why he doesn't see you as wife material and probably won't. So first reason is you out here busting it wide open. Close your legs. Some of you ladies are out here pH balance off, smelling like tuna for a man that hasn't even paid your cell phone bill, that hasn't even taken you to dinner since ever. You're, you're selling yourself short. Next reason is you don't represent him well. A lot of y'all are out here giving Bratz doll instead of Barbie doll. You look trashy and any man of means wants a Barbie, not a Bratz doll, okay? He wants to be able to take you around his family and his colleagues. And if you don't fit that mold, then girl, you will be reduced to a bed wench. Third reason is you don't bring him peace. A lot of women come with drama. You want to argue all the time. You want to complain all the time. You talk too much. He like just can't relax in your presence because you're talking too much about so and so and what they did and this, that and the other. Like you're not peaceful. And most men, especially if they're a hard worker, which I hope that any man that you're, you know, wanting to be with is a hard worker, they want peace. They have enough stress at work and in their daily lives. They want the woman that they're settling down with to be that peace, to be that sense of home, to be that sense of relaxation. And so many women are not that. Fourth reason is you have a streets mindset. A lot of women want to be at the club all the time, want to be here and there all the time, and it's not cute, okay? A lot of y'all think it's cute, and it's not. Men prefer homebodies. Men prefer good girls. And when I say good girl, I don't mean doormat. And the next thing is you lack basic domestic qualities you don't take care of your responsibility every time he sees you you have trash in your car your house your apartment is a hot mess it's not inviting and men look at these things they look at that and be like oh she's she's not gonna be a good homemaker um so i'm not about to take her out the workplace because she's gonna have my house junky um she, I'm not buying her a car because look at the car she got. It's dirty all the time. 
um, you're not someone that he wants to provide for because you don't even take care of what you have now. Here are three signs that she's wifey material. If she's doing these three things, this is your sign you should take her serious. The last one is very important. So ladies, please pay attention to it if you want to get wifed up. Number one, if she's going out of her way to buy you things, even if she's not doing so well, show sacrifice when it's not easy for her to do so. When she's going out of her way to doing something nice for you, even though she can't afford it, but she's still making the effort to do so. If she's doing that, she's wifey material. Number two, if she gives you updates about her life without you even asking, she gives you updates about her life without you even asking, especially if she knows that you're an overthinker. For example, she'll be like, hey, I just got to the bar with my friends. I'll let you know how it goes. Or she'll be like, hey, I'm leaving right now. If she has this communication, wife her. Because we all know communication is key in a marriage. And before I say number three, ladies, if you think you should be wifed up right now, drop a ring emoji in the comments. And number three, the most important one, if she introduces you to her family, this is a really good sign because it's her way of letting you know that she's interested in you. No girl is going to bring you around her family if she does not see a potential future with you. And ladies, if you really want to get wiped up, you got to understand this one thing. And that is a man is constantly looking for status and respect. A woman who makes her man feel respected, not only from her, but his peers, is a type of woman that a man is never gonna wanna lose. Men don't choose a wife. Men don't set their sights on someone to marry based on how they look. Guys usually date women in the same kind of league, I guess, for lack of a better word, women who are roughly the same level of attractive. He's not gonna meet somebody who he thinks is much more attractive and think, oh my God, I have to marry her. That's not how it works. And your figure is the same way. Guys are attracted to women with different types of figures, and those are the women that he's going to date, right? But the woman he's going to think of to marry, the one that he wants to spend his life with, the one that he doesn't want to live without, the one that he wants with him in the foxhole, right? Us against the world, that's a woman with a nurturing heart. That's a woman who will nurture him, who will respect him. And really, nurturing is an undervalued quality, but it's what we look for. It's what men look for. Now, that doesn't mean you have to dumb yourself down. That doesn't mean you can't be amazing and beautiful and successful and ambitious and brilliant in all sorts of ways. But a man wants to be nurtured, just like a woman wants to feel safe. If a guy makes you feel safe, you're going to slip easily. Men, just like women, they need to feel understood, valued, and supported. If he feels like he can't open up with you or that his feelings are dismissed, it might hold him back from seeing a future together. Emotional connection is an important element in any lasting partnership. So ask yourself, am I creating a space where my partner feels emotionally safe? Am I truly listening or am I focused only on my own needs? Next thing I want to talk about is life goals. It could be that your partner's goals don't align. Marriage isn't just about love. It's about compatibility in long time. If your visions for the future, whether it's career, family or lifestyle don't match up, he might not see the partnership as sustainable. For example, if you're excited about traveling the world while he's ready to settle down and have a family, that difference can be a deal breaker. The next reason I want to talk about is communication. It is another reason that can hold him back from seeing a future with you. If your communication styles don't match up well, if conversations often lead to misunderstandings or arguments, he may feel hesitant about committing. Communication is essential in any successful relationship, especially when it comes to resolving conflict, mismatch and values. Core values are the foundation of any long-term relationship. If your values, whether they be religion, financial or ethical, don't align, it can cause friction. Men often evaluate whether their partner shares the same core values beliefs before considering marriage. Take a moment to reflect. Do you and your partner's values align? Or are there major differences that could cause problems down the line? He's not ready for marriage. Sometimes the most straightforward reason is that he's just not ready for marriage. It could be personal goals, career focus, or simply not being ready for that level of commitment yet. 
it might not be about you at all he just isn't in that headspace at this point in life it's essential to understand the perfect time for you to start dating is when you are at the stage when you feel you're ready for marriage there you have it these are some reasons why a man might not see you as wife material or why he might hesitate to commit but remember every relationship is unique if any of these points resonate with you don't worry it's all part of growing and learning relationships are a journey and as you work on yourself and your relationship you can create a stronger foundation for the future Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more relationship tips. Drop a comment below letting me know which of these reasons stood out to you or what you would like to see in the future videos. Till next time, keep growing, keep learning and keep loving.